So section 2.3 is entitled Angle Properties in Triangles. Okay? And the investigate the math says, can you prove that the sum of the measures of the interior angles of any triangle is 180 degrees? Okay? Now, just a mention from chapter one. When we say prove, okay, proving is a deductive process, all right, which includes some kind of variable that represents all all possible values for the proof so that we can say, yes, this is a proven fact. In your, on your test that I just marked, some of you didn't, uh, distinguishing inductive reasoning, which is providing a number of examples to make a good guess, versus deductive proofs, right, which usually involves a variable. Uh, some of you didn't have those distinguished uh, quite properly. Most, a lot of you did. But anyways, when, when it says prove, we're actually looking for some kind of like slam dunk proof, like a two column proof or an integer, I'm sorry, a, a variable proof. Now we might get to that, but let's just step back and I want you as well with me here to do an inductive process that would sort of say, yes, I think this is, or this could be a proven fact. So what we're gonna do is we're going to do different examples and so what I'm going to get you to do right now is I'm going to get you to, those of you with a ruler, um, if you have some kind of straight edge at all, any kind of straight edge, I want you to make a triangle in your, on your paper, okay? And if you have a ruler, that's great. Use your ruler. And what I want you to do is to start on a fresh piece of paper so that you can rip this triangle out or cut it out. I'm sure you don't have all scissors. You don't have scissors. But I want you to try and... It uh, doesn't matter if it's big or small, okay? So I'm, I'm, my goal here is to have 10 or 15 different sized triangles, okay? So just take a moment to do that. All right, so what I want you to do, I've got uh, on the screen right here, I've got my triangle, and you should have your triangle in front of you. If, if you're still trying to get that out, um, just, you know, good luck with that. Uh, anyways, this is, what, this is what I want to show you. So what I want you to do is I want you to actually rip the corners, and you've probably done this before, I don't know if you have, rip the corner angles off. So each one, so there's one corner, and oh, if it didn't work out, I'm sorry. Uh, rip all three corners off, okay? So really, I've got all three corners right here. Here's one angle, here's another angle, and here's the third angle, okay? Can we kind of see that? All right. So now, we all have probably slightly different triangles, okay? And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna use inductive reasoning to try and come up with a conjecture that says, hey, um, the interior angles of a triangle, and of course these angles that we have ripped off are interior angles. So can we make some kind of conjecture as to what the sum of these angles are? So this is what I'm gonna do. So we've got this down here. There's my first angle, okay? Here is my second angle angle. I'm going to just do this on your paper. Just put them together as best you can. There's two angles. So now we see the sum of the two angles right here to there. Okay, that's the sum of the two. And here's the third angle. So if I carefully piece these together, what does it appear happens? What is the sum? What conjecture can we make for the sum? And again, I'm having trouble getting those exactly together. But, what does it look like? It looks like a pie. What? Okay, what, what, what can we say about the sum of this angle plus this angle plus this angle? Oh, okay. Does everyone see that it kind of forms a straight line right here? You see that? Okay, hopefully yours forms somewhat of a straight line if you ripped off all three corners. Okay? So that's what we're going to do here now. So now, I'm going to try and stop this video. No idea how to do that. Can't remember. Record video. How about we stop video? Let's just X out. Oh, nice. Okay. Okay, so what we did here is we um, make a triangle out of your paper, cut, rip it out. Now we're going to rip each angle out and place them beside each other. What is the sum of the interior, ooh, interior, mm -hmm. interior angles of a triangle? Good question. It appeared. Now, if we all if we all did this, did you all get when you added them up? Looked like it's pretty much a straight line. Okay. 
it's an inexact science here, but yes, it looked like the sum is 180. So inductively, it looks like the sum is 180. Okay? All right. Um, I'm going to introduce another... We're going to kind of work towards a deductive proof here, it looks like. So I'm going to introduce another definition for you. So where are we? 2.3. Okay. Okay. So exterior angle. What is an exterior angle? Well, if we talk about an exterior angle, um, that would be different than an interior angle. An exterior angle would be an angle that is associated with the triangle, but that is outside the triangle. Okay? So an exterior angle. Let's just let's just cut this. Cut it out. Put it into our notes. Okay, so this is an exterior angle. And what we're going to do is we're going to try and use this exterior angle to, uh, to make some proofs. Okay, there are other exterior angles as well. Uh, it's going to be a little tough for me to draw, but this is another exterior angle. And here is a third exterior angle. Okay. Now, wh let's just explore this a little bit. So this exterior angle here, how is it related to this particular interior angle right there? How are those two related? Those two angles are what? Supplementary. Right, supplementary, okay? So it's usually equal, supplementary, or something else, right? That, that's, those are the three options. So equal, no. Supplementary, well, it looks like this angle and this angle form a straight line right here. So, yeah, so this angle and this angle are supplementary. So, each exterior angle is supplementary to its associated interior angle. So, let's just write that out. So, each exterior angle is supplementary with its associated interior. So, these two are supplementary. 40 and this angle right here would be supplementary. And, of course, this one and this one would be supplementary. So can we just finish labeling this diagram? What is this angle here, then? What's 180 minus 155? 25? Good. Okay. All right. So this angle over here, then, is what? This is 40, so this has to be what? 140. That's true. And now, now these two angles, okay, so these two angles we know are supplementary, okay, but we don't know this one. Now, we are assuming, right now, we haven't proven it, but we're assuming that the interior angles of a triangle add up to what? What did we did, uh, inductively guess here? Okay, 180. So what, what could this be right here, this angle right here? One, sorry? 115, okay, so one, let's see, 40 plus 25 is 65, 65 plus 115 is 180, so that looks good. So what about, what would this one then be? We said, okay, supplementary, so 65. Now, if you look, if you look at this diagram right here, look at this diagram, what are some relationships? Because there's one big relationship that we need to identify here. So do we know anything, uh, do, do you recognize anything? So obviously we have some supplementary angles, okay? It appears we're pretty confident that the interior angles all add up to 180. Okay, so what else do we notice? Anything? Let's focus on one of the exterior angles. Look at one exterior angle. What do you notice about that diagram and one exterior angle? You want to give it a go? Oh, all the exterior angles add up to 360. Okay. So so that's something. Now, of course, we don't have you know multiple triangles to test this, but that's one guess we can make. So all exterior angles in a triangle, and this is really messy, sorry, add to, what do we say, 360. Okay, that's a great observation. What's one other thing? What's one other thing that we notice? And that is, that is um, for sure, one of the things we want you to notice. But there's another thing that I was hoping you'd notice as well. Anything else? 
<coughs> no? Okay, look at this. 155. The, ang the interangle that's associated with it, we said, is supplementary. But what about these angles that are not associated with it? You notice a connection there? Or better yet, what about this one? 140 and 115 and 25. Sixty. Um, uh, wait, 115, 65. 65 and 40 and 25. Are you seeing it? Okay. So the, the non-adjacent interior angles add up to, the, uh, to this exterior angle. So if you have an exterior angle, the non-adjacent interior angles add up to that one. So that's, that's another thing I wanted you to, to see. So let's copy that down. So for each exterior angle that we looked at, the sum of the two non-adjacent interior angles would be the same. <coughs> Okay, any, any questions so far? Because again, we're exploring different angle properties for triangles, right? So these are two that we want to focus on. Okay, so if we look at the interior angles here, they do add up to 180. If we assumed that this was true, the exterior angles add up to 360, which can be assumed, that is, a, that is true, then we could prove that the interior angles add up to 180. Right, because this angle plus this angle plus this angle equals 360. Um, this angle, um, uh, 180 minus this angle gives us this one. 180 minus this gives us this one. 180 minus this uh, gives us this one. Uh, and uh, so we could kind of build that so that the angles that are left over, they would all equal 180. So that would kind of be our maybe two column proof, which we're not gonna, we don't need to establish that today. So it is going to be considered a fact that interior angles do add up to 180, the exterior angles do add up to 360. Okay, so given those, um, and given this fact right here, that the two interior angles add up to the non-adjacent exterior one over here. Okay, so those are the three main things I want you to get out of today's lesson. So let's go to this one, the need to know. Okay, and just spend a, a minute here on the summary. So you can prove uh, properties of angles and triangles using other properties that have already been proven. And so what we're going to do is we're going to assume that this is a proven fact now, and we're going to be able to maybe use this in different areas um, uh, to, to uh, prove other things. So the interior angles of a triangle always add up to 180. Okay. Also, the measure of any exterior angle is, the, is equal to the sum of the two non-adjacent interior angles. So this dBA right here is the sum of this angle plus this angle. Okay, so this would be a good launch point actually to prove that the exterior angles all add up to 360. So given these two things, we could probably go there and say, hey, can we prove that? And the answer probably would be uh, yes. But that's, the, uh, that's all you need to know for um, this section. I'll give you your homework assignment here, and I'll let you get started on that. Any questions? So 2.3, page 90, 1 to 5, 12, 14 is a suggested assignment for this section. Yep. And here is the uh, textbook.